Hey everyone, welcome to another mail day. Today is gonna to be exciting. We have some awesome cars that arrived in the mail. Starting with that one. Look at Euro. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm finally finishing off my Splinter Twins. Oh boy, today's gonna to be really fun. Let's get started. Let's start with Euro or Euro or whatever. Look at that art. Such an expensive card. Um, but going with the theme of the cards that I get, if there's a full art version, that's the version I aim for. It looks awesome. It really does. They finally came in. This completes my playset. I never have to worry about it again as long as it doesn't get banned in any formats at least the formats that I play I'd be happy I'm gonna put in a nice KMC perfect hard oh, this one actually fits pretty nicely oh boy I'm so happy I finally got this card or I finally completed the playset so it's looking good Oh yes, I mean I was definitely enjoying this a lot more when Astrolabe was legal. But hey, it still has a lot of play. It still has a lot of play in Modern. I do agree, I don't like seeing it on the other side of the battlefield. And that's for sure. It definitely feels unfair when it's being played against me. But when I'm playing it, it feels perfectly fair. So, I think it's fine. Thing is perfectly fine as long as I'm the one playing it I'm okay with it but no seriously I mean listen you could deal with it it has to go to the graveyard first so deal with your opponent's graveyard we already have to deal with non magic or dredge as some people like to call it so if you're ready for non magic decks then you can you can you can play your own decks up next is OG foil grim lavamancer look at that I'm sorry, I prefer the old art. It looks so good. I definitely prefer it over the new art. Just look at that. He has a Komodo dragon over his shoulder. Or some form of lizard. Whatever it is, who cares? He's, I guess... Yeah, he's swimming in lava. He is a lava mancer, so I guess that's a thing he does. The foiling on this is pretty good. I mean, it's your typical foiling. The art itself is not foil. But the, uh, the color of the card is. This is a pretty straight card. Jesus. There is no foil. Uh, there's no curling on this foil. No curling at all. Yeah, it looks good. I'm happy with that one. So yeah, Grim Lavamancer is not seeing too much play in Modern. But it has some play. It has some play. You could fit it into a deck. I'm going to try and fit it into more decks. Not as a four of or a three of, I think that would be way too much. But of a one of, but as a one of or a two of, I can see it being played. Pro probably, most certainly a meta call, but I think it's doable. Yeah, it looks good. All right, so I finally finished all my Splinter Twins. This is the last three that I needed. I already had one. Finally got the other three. And now I'm complete on all my Splinter Twin main pieces. I have them all. This was the hardest one to find. You'd be surprised with the card uh, being banned for so long. Still very difficult to get any version of it, in, let alone a foil version. But I finally tracked them down. I got them. I have like, I've expanded my store, online store guide to like, 12 13 14 stores something like that i hope i'm not exaggerating but it's a ton of stores so i keep track of cards that i want over you know many many different stores across canada and the united states and that's how i get first dibs on cards when they come back in stock i abuse that wishlist option and the minute i get that wishlist notification i go and i reserve the card and i never have to worry about it again that's how I usually do it. I don't like waiting 
for cards to come into stock, back into stock. At the same time, I would not pay a ridiculous price for a card, just because it's hard to find. Cough, cough. Shark Typhoon. Stay tuned, I actually have secured my place out of Shark Typhoon and I didn't pay the ridiculous costs for it. When I get a mail day with Shark Typhoon in it, uh, I'll, I'll talk more about that. Dragon's Claw is next. Holy moly, look at that. Look at that curling. Oh, I didn't think that would work. That curling is intense. Um, yeah, we'll uh, make sure to flatten that out a bit. That curling, I was not expecting that. I knew this was curled, but I didn't think it was gonna be that bad. I think it needs some time in a dry environment and in a flattening environment. And hopefully we get rid of some of that curling. Dragon's Claw is, first of all, it's been printed to hell. Uh, I was shocked when I was getting it. I was surprised at how many times they reprinted this card. It's ridiculous. I think, I guess it's a safe card to just kind of add into any set to fill it out. But okay. Um, anyway, I mean, Dragon's Claw is useful if you're not playing green and you need access to life gain. Because usually green is your really go-to white as well. But, you know, green has Feed the Clan, Life Goes On. Um, there's a few other green spells that you can play, currently at least in Modern, that grant you life. So, yeah, when you're not playing green, it's a bit harder to gain life. Uh, but this kind of solves the problem, if, as long as you're playing a red or a heavy red deck. Technically, you can bring it in as tech against burn, but I think it's... It's fine, I suppose. It's just basically minus one on all their red spells. Alright. Glorybringer. I think this completes my playset. I have to double check. I am not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure it does, though. I, pretty, I, I like this, again, I, like I said, the rule is if there's a full art version, I usually aim for the full art version, unless... The, another version is just a lot better overall. Maybe the, the actual artwork is better or whatever. But I actually like this version of Glorybringer. It's, you know, it's nice. It's sitting atop a staircase. Maybe a temple or something. I don't really know. Oops, let's get that in the KMC hard first. It looks pretty cool. So I want to get this version. Again, I mean, right now I'm not playing with Glorybringer in any of my decks. I'm only playing against it. And it sucks. It really does suck. I think I've already gone on a rant in a previous mail day with Glorybringer. Whatever. Alright, up next. Tamio, Collector of Tales, is going in my Teamer Warp mid-range, where I'm amusing where I'm abusing Time Warp a bit, but in a fair way, kind of. Um, yeah, more on that. I'll be playing that after Teamer Hatching Delver, most likely. Tamio is a centerpiece in that. Uh, when I do the deck tech on Timur Warp mid-range, I'll explain a bit more, but yeah, this this Tamiyo works pretty well on that strategy. Artwork is pretty interesting. I like it. I like the stained glass versions of these Planeswalkers, so these are the versions I get uh, when possible. I have Narset on the way with the stained glass version, and I already have Ashiok in the stained glass version. It looks pretty cool. I like it. I like how the Planeswalker itself isn't foil, it's everything around it. It's a nice transition, or a nice contrast, I should say. Almost a printer line there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there it is. Oh, well, wow. that's Watts equality for you. That's still near mint. I mean, in, in today's standards, it's, it's near mint. Because that's essentially pack fresh. So I got two of them. I think I have a full playset coming. But I think I only played two in the deck. But these are relatively cheap, I said. Doesn't hurt. There are iterations of Teamer Warp mid-range where they play four of her. So... Uh, yeah. Up next, Eternal Witness. I really like this version. I know the OG is, you know, it's nostalgic and all that, but I really like this version of Eternal Witness, and that's not just my bias because it's full art. 
or there's a full art version of it. I just like this one a lot more. Eternal Witness, I like the little wolf or the wolf-like creature. The foiling is intense. It's really nice. I love the foiling on this. It's not like Noble Hierarch from the same set where you can barely tell it's foil for the most part. This one, no, it's foil. You know it's foil. So yeah, Eternal Witness. I want to build the version of Eternal Command. I'm still working on that very, very, very early stage. I don't have anything to share yet, but I do want to bring Eternal Witness into the Teamer family. Because of course I love Teamer. And Teamer is what I'm currently focusing on. And yeah, I have some plans for Eternal Witness. Let's get that in there. Get this over with. I really hope I never have to unsleeve these and redo it all. <laughs> it's such a pain. I mean, I'm kind of used to it when you do it like 10,000 times, but still. Foiling is still pretty good. I, I know I make this comment every once in a while, but it's double sleeved and the perfect hards are slightly less clear than the regular perfect fits. But foiling is still relatively clear. And here's another negate. I think you saw the other one in the previous episode. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. I did get this version of negate because I just really love the way the foiling is on the mix between the red and the blue. It's super sweet, almost, almost as sweet as purple. Let's get this out of the way. Season Pyromancer, Jesus, let me get the gate out of here. Holy hell, this card was way more expensive than I thought. But I mean, I understand why. I think it's gonna be around for a long time. The artwork is meh, to be honest. I mean, it's great. I mean, I don't like making fun of artwork because I think I don't like making fun of artists work because I have zero art skill and I don't see why I should harp on someone's art, but I just, that doesn't speak to me. The card does though, the card's pretty awesome. I look forward to playing with it. Doesn't really work in any team or build that I've seen. Plays a bit better in Gruel or Mono Red. So I guess you're going to have to wait, or I'm going to have to wait before I can play this in any serious environment. Foiling is nice though. Foiling is pretty nice. And I guess it's not too complicated, it's all red. Next we have Field of Ruin. I enjoyed this artwork a lot more because there's purple in it. And, or at least a lot more purple than the other one. And look at that purple. Oh man, the, the camera really doesn't do it justice. The purple looks so nice. I know I always talk about purple foiling as if it's the second coming of something, but it's just nice to have. That being said, I'm not a big a Field of Ruin guy. I don't like Ghost Quarter Field of Ruin. Those aren't my style of lands. Um... It's probably because it comes down more to games, gameplay or game style. Or play style. I mean, these, these cards are great, obviously. It's just, I don't know. Just like to see some Pyromancer art doesn't speak to me. And this card style doesn't speak to me. I think there are better things we could be doing with our lands. And honestly, anytime a, a, an opponent plays Field of Ruin against me, it's almost always like a bonus. Or at the very least, it's just kind of neutral because I'm just going to get a basic. I don't really care. Last but not least, Ghost Quarter. Look at Ghost Quarter. This one is so much better than the other version. Look at these ghosts. Oh, I love it. I really love it. Oh, yeah. Ghost Quarter. The artwork and the foiling on it is so well done, in my opinion. There's some purple in there as well, and blue. Looks really nice. I love it. 
yeah it's definitely better at least in my in my opinion i definitely prefer this art over the newer ghost quarter art and hey that's it for another mail day episode i hope you enjoyed it let's quickly go through all these cards uh oh i didn't flatten them out so let's see get through all of them hey hey look at that i guess these are the top ones the top ones of this episode good euro grim lava mancer hope you enjoyed the video guys guys and girls although right now it's 100 percent guys watching my videos so i hope that changes if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up i would appreciate it if you enjoy my content in general please subscribe i would appreciate that it lets me know that you want to see more it lets youtube know that you want to see more hit that notification bell as well it helps me out thanks and have a good one